What's up guys, Jerome here and today I'm going to show you how to do a uh, forest. Alright, so in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a uh, forest and this tutorial is really for beginners because forests can be very complex and there's a lot of things to look out for so I'm just going to show you the easiest way for you to get started and create your very own forest, okay? So a couple of things that you need, number one obviously you need a pot, uh, number two you need some trees. Um, a forest can technically be looked at as three plus trees. Um, you always want to have an uneven number. I always like to go for five plus trees because three trees to me is more like a grouping and not a forest yet. So today we chose uh, five Brazilian rain trees. And usually when you do a forest, you want to make sure that each tree has a different size and a different thickness and has some uh, they're different from each other. But today, since I'm going to show you the easiest way to make a forest, we chose five trees that are, they are pretty much very close to the same. But that's actually a really good thing because at this play, at this point, we can let some grow taller and keep some shorter. And then that way, when the root system starts to fuse, it'll look really cool at the end as well. So you can actually manipulate on which tree out of those you want to grow and thicken up. And I'm going to show you some forests at the end where I use the same techniques, where I use the same size trees, and then I let some grow tall and I kept some short. It actually looks pretty cool. Okay, so we have the trees, we have the pot, and now if you look at the bottom of the pot, there's only the drainage holes which are already covered but there's no other holes right so now i could either use a, a diamond bit and drill the holes because i need to anchor the trees i need to tie them down into the pot but that's a lot of work and it's also dangerous because the pot could explode in your face and you could ruin the pot so today we're going to do it a little bit safer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a, a little wooden stick that I just picked up a Home Depot or a garden center like this. And I'm gonna make a roster out of these. Or not a roster, a frame. My apologies. So the first two have to be the length of the pot. And I have my frame. So now I just need to use a little bit of wire to uh, keep the frame from moving. And so this frame is actually really an easy solution because you can tie the tree down over here, over here, in between, over here, over here, over here. So it gives you a lot of uh, possibilities. When you have holes, you usually are stretched to place the trees more on the outside perimeter of the pot. But since we have this little wooden frame, and this is non-treated wood, so it's not going to be toxic or for your trees. And once the tree root base has um, fused, you can just go ahead and then remove this little wooden frame in a year or so from today. Now, when you create a forest, you want to come up with a story of the forest, right? So, where, does, where did your forest grow? So is your forest from the Everglades in Florida or is your forest grown in the mountains? All of that will play a huge role in the design of your forest. Now this right here is a tropical forest that I'm going to do. And in this scenery, all the trees, this is a younger forest, all the trees were planted around the same time. And it's just going to be a little grove of trees. I want to uh, tie this frame down to the pot which keeps it from moving, perfect. I'm gonna have to prepare the little trees. So I just take them out of the pot and then just with my hands, I'm gonna break up the root system. Okay. So the cool thing about creating a forest is that you can let your imagination run wild. 
You can even incorporate some uh, rocks in there. Um, you can make the, the forest look like it was grown on a mountain, like a landscape. So there's really um, endless possibilities. All right, so next I have to do, decide on how I'm going to place my forest. So I want to take a look at all of my trees and see which ones I want to let grow, which ones I want to keep shorter, and... All right, so I'm going to choose this one, I think. Yes. And then I just place them, once I have my trees figured out, I'm just going to place them in the pot just to see if it looks good before I tie it down and then I go from there. So every forest needs to have a, a main tree uh, that you place first and then you build the trees around that first tree, right? You build your forest around that first tree. So your first main tree could be, uh, from your guys' view, could be in the front, in the center, and then have all the other trees behind it. It could also be in the back and be the biggest tree for depth, for instance, and have the smaller trees in the front. You could also have the biggest tree off to one side and then build the canopy to the other side. You could also build a little road in between. So there's endless possibilities in how you want to do your forest. So see, one possibility could be to have a couple of the trees on one side and a couple on the other side. And then I could do a, a little uh, road in between, that would be one option. So this is the forest that I created. Uh, this is going to be my main tree. I'm going to let this one grow taller. And then my second tallest tree, I want to be this one in the back. So I'm going to let this one grow up as well. This one, I would potentially maybe shorten a little bit so that we can go from tall to second tall, third, fourth, and then fifth. So that you have that nice uh, canopy. You never want to have really a canopy that's exactly where all the trees are the same because that doesn't happen in nature, right? One tree grows stronger than the other. One tree is also older than the other. So you have to take that under consideration. So even though this doesn't look like a lot right now, uh, once it starts to fill in and this one is a little, it's gonna become a little taller, it's actually gonna be a really cool little forest. So at this point, uh, obviously I'm gonna move the tree into the shade and water it well. And then I would now repot it for about two to three years and let the let the pot get completely root bound so that the roots can start to fuse. But at the same time, you also want to let these trees run at this point. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to let the trees explode for a couple of months and, ch and not do anything really. And then next early summer, I'm going to come back in and then I will go ahead and start to train and trim the different trees to the different heights. I do need that first growth and I want to have the trees grow out to maybe about here. I do need that in order for the trees, uh, first of all, the, the tree, it makes the trees stronger when you let them grow out. At the same time, you want to get them fill the roots in the pot very fast. So therefore you want to let them grow out like that and you want them to wake up after surgery. It's not a good idea now to go ahead and start to trim every single tree and make it perfect, you know, start to wire and stuff like that. It would not be a perfect time right now to do that. So that's why let it grow out until it gets bushy. And then the trees that you want to keep smaller, you trim those back. The trees that you want to keep taller, you let them grow, let them grow. And in about two years time from today, these two trees, will, this one will probably be around this thick, and the one in the back will probably be a little less than that, maybe three quarters of the size of this one. But that can only be achieved by letting them grow out like crazy. 
and just keeping it the check on the other a couple of trees. All right, so the uh, Mari stopped by and she placed some figurines into the uh, forest and she took the uh, put the small one in the back for depth and she kept the larger figurine in the front. Figurines are a really good tool to help with the uh, scale of the trees and it can also design a little story in your forest or tree as well or landscape too. Um, so by the way, these figurines are also on our website for sale now. We have a pretty good uh, variation uh, that you can choose from. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my little uh, beginner forest tutorial and I will catch you guys next time.